So for all of you guys out there who are wondering about the reactions, I'm a bit late to this, but I figured that I would react to this later rather than never, of a recent incident that happened. No, not the incident itself, but the fallout from a certain group of individuals who feel that it is their need to research and penis patrol every man, particularly every man of African American heritage, whereas they could be doing the work on building the community that they have claimed to own, or in many cases they've just been given it, but as far as their research, do they insist on going after those who are a threat to their community? Those who threaten their image directly, those who make caricatures of them on a daily basis, those who really bring shame to their image? No, no, no. They would rather, and you know who they are, they would rather use the time, use the woman power and the resources to research random ass chicks who are proposed by black football players, which is what we have in this case of one Charles Leno Jr., who is a defensive player in the Chicago Bears. He and the defense led the team to a victory over the Green Bay Packers, which, if you don't know the significance of this particular game and why he did what he did afterwards, this, for one, breaks a streak in which Chicago has been losing the Green Bay at Chicago for about like 10 or so years. Two, this officially ends the Packers' season. So they have no shot of getting to the playoffs. And three, this locks a postseason run, the playoffs. So they will be playing in January. So obviously, with all these things, the players are going to be hyped, right? Well, Charles Leno Jr. decided that this would be a perfect opportunity to propose to his girlfriend, Jennifer Marie Roth, which I think all of you have seen by now. If not, I'll leave a link in the description for that. And for the most part, people were happy, people were joyous. However, there are a group of people who obviously felt the need to ruin and rain on the parade of these two individuals. Now, what they did was to use their research to go back to look at the tweets of this individual, Miss Jennifer Roth, and point out some of the more flagrant things she had to say about quote-unquote blacks, these quote-unquote racist tweets, which I have right here, and I'm going to read them down, and I'm going to let you determine how racist these after you are, and what kind of woman this Miss Roth chick is. First tweet, I'm just going down the list. These are all tweets from 2012, by the way, so let's be honest, these are ancient tweets from five years ago, and then if you had the patience and the time to look at tweets five years ago, then for starters, what kind of life do you have, really? This is probably the reason why... Some of these people who are looking up tweets 5, 10, 20 years ago, I mean, they could use a bit of Charles Leno in their lives, probably. But as far as this is concerned, back in 2012, she, Miss Jennifer Roth, stated things such as, This dude pitch black. Like, I know I like black guys, but he is like burnt toast black. <laughs> Ghetto people are always naming their kids after stuff they can't afford. Mercedes, Diamond, Bentley, Pearl... Light bill, rent, car insurance, okay. Bitches think they slick, but then they act like niggas with the A. And if you pillow talk with the women that are screwing you, you just know that she gonna tell another nigga when she threw with you. Jenny Butler got a win, lol at Santra T-O-D-C-S. Lost for Nash, Mello, and Griffin. Damn, all my niggas took a loss tonight in the NBA. You believe that shit all because some lame ass nigga tweeted that shit. These hoes be acting up and these niggas be letting them. I like seeing white guys with black girls and black guys with white girls because mixed babies are so cute. I can't tell if love and basketball is why I love black guys or if I love love and basketball because I love black guys. It's funny how black guys treat white girls on the campus. It makes me want to go back to talking to white guys. It's true what they say about black guys, probably why I can't bring myself to talk to a white man again. And, and by the way, the previous tweet about making her want to go back to talk to white guys, that was posted on October the 30th, 2012. 
However, the one I recently read about how she can't date the white men again was posted on November the 1st. So notice the dates in which she just basically flip-flopped on her opinion on black guys. But the last one, I don't know anyone here, but I honestly hate them all. So many want to be black people. <laughs> wow. Now, let's look at these tweets. Let's summarize these tweets. Let's be honest with these tweets. Are these tweets racist in nature? You tell me, honestly. You freaking tell me if these tweets are racist in nature. Really? Now, if you put a black chick, if that was Juanita Robinson, would these tweets be racist? Really? Now, as far as this is concerned, was she a dumbass kid at the time? Probably. I'll say this. She was definitely a dumbass for putting those tweets on. I will go that far. But as far as being a racist is concerned, I don't see a racist. Not in this case. I don't see someone who has it in for blacks, especially black men. You know what I see? I see a grown version of the Cash Me Outside girl. I see a grown version of Woe Vicky. In my past videos, I did examples of Woe Vicky to basically put the example of the wig at the female wigger the female wigger and how despite her adopting culturally stereotypically black mannerisms she would hold her man down even better than your typical scraggle daggle and i stand by that point the fact of the matter is this what we have here is at the very least a former wig at a former woe vicky the same woke Vicky is gonna be like this, and it's yo Kylie, bitch. Yeah, it's it's yo Kylie in the building once again. In 1992, I had a bunch of tweets. I was saying all sorts of nigga this, and I love black men that, but guess what? Guess what, Draggle Daggles? I truly love black men. Because you know why? First of all, you hoes wouldn't have dealt with my man if he was about nothing. And a lot of you say, well, you wouldn't deal with him neither. Uh-uh. I was with him when none of you guys were paying attention to him. I was with him when he was doing the suicide runs. I was with him when he was a nobody. I was with him when he was just struggling. He was on his way up. And even though he had the muscles, even though he was at the gym, even though he was doing his thing, you gals still call him a lame, a cornball. He wasn't black enough. You gals were on my man's nuts. Even though you didn't want to deal with him when he was trying to get on his way up. But you know what I did? I told him, you don't gotta be a baby daddy. You don't gotta drop out of school. You don't gotta be a hood dope boy in order to impress me. I just like you for what you is, and the color of your skin, and your BBC, and mixed babies, because I, I love mixed babies, man. I know you scraggle daggles are burnt up because I actually got one of your men when, you know why? You know why I was able to get one of your men? Because even though I may sound like y'all, and I may act like y'all, I know, I don't act like y'all. I don't act like y'all, because you know why? I know how to choose the good black men that you guys don't even want. But check this out. Uh, we're getting all your men's in them. We're getting all your men's that you guys want to pretend you like, but you guys really don't. But my man's, how can you call my man's a sellout and a coon and educated lame when we both sang rap songs together? We both knew the lyrics behind the latest hit by... Lil Jizz and Young Illuminati. Uh, uh, how can you guys screw up this much when you guys are clowning brothers who are on the streets, who have their ears to the streets, who has the black swag, and you're still calling them educated lames? Hold on. Hold the hell on. This, this is getting too far. I know, I know back in the 80s and 90s, you had to be a bit charismatic to get a girl in the community tie. That's what my man's dad told me. But now, you can't even be charismatic. You can't just have a little swag. You need to be degenerate. 
in the mush mouth and mumble all the time? That's what you scraggle daggles want? That's what you scraggle daggles are looking for? That's what y'all call a man? Y'all girls are tripping. Y'all girls are tripping. I gotta clap my hands like this because I may act like a hood rat, but I at least know how to get a man up in here. Unlike you daggles who basically go after the worst kind of man and then when it's all said and done where you're burnt out when you're turned out you want to go after my man and shame him on the internet for getting with me because i was there for him i clean for him i cook for him when he gets home that his beer is cold that his food is warm and that the bed's hot yeah the, the bed is hot i keeps it hot in the bed y'all don't even know L let's just say this i keeps a certain part of him empty if y'all dig see that's what it takes to be a good woman y'all don't know what it takes to be a good woman you want to call me uh wig at and uh, cash me outside girl all you want but at least i know how to keep a man and you know what i'm definitely gonna take your man now because guess what i'm gonna trigger you daggles with this we're gonna have mixed babies and those babies are going to kick your baby kid's ass in football, and basketball, and MMA, and, and singing, and rapping, and all sorts of crap. And they'll kick your baby kid's ass in corporate America, and IT, and the military, e even on Fortnite. My mixed babies are going to kill your babies in Fortnite. But yeah, the point is this. A lot of men out there, a lot of brothers, are better off dealing with these woke, thicky kind of chicks than your typical scraggle-daggle. Now I know it's hard to hear. I know it's difficult. I know the truth is hard to swallow, but this is the fact. All I see here is a wig at, whether former or current, who likes the BBC, but at the very least, she had a dad in her life probably. She knows how to pick men. She knows how to get them when they're at their prime. Now, as a man, honestly, in America, I wouldn't have proposed to her at the very least until I was retired, just to see where her mind was, how she felt about me as an individual, not me as a football player. But nonetheless, God bless them. I hope they have a blissful and happy marriage. I hope they have all sorts of healthy and viable biracial kids who will be the next Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, or Patrick Mahomes, and whatever they pursue. And yes, there are good women who are of ebony descent. We can't leave them out. But let's be honest. A lot of them are escaping the plantation too. Let's be honest. Let's be real. And no, these aren't the women who are online on YouTube talking trash about how black men ain't about nothing. I'm, I'm gonna swirl. I'm gonna swirl tonight. Ladies, scraggle daggles, we need to get in position. And what kind of position is that? That's the bend over the couch. The couch of a fine European guy who will covet us and will give us their seed so we can raise the next generation. The next generation of people who we want to go after black men. But I know there's a chance that they made the fact against us enjoying the light side. But scraggle daggles, we can't go on in this country dealing with all these manosphere guys who are talking all sorts of trash against us. Like that guy who goes to the club and instantly starts tricking. He starts tricking in Africa, but he's actually able to find some sort of peace there. He's actually coveted there. How is his milk dud ass coveted there? Looking like Ahmed Johnson Jr. I don't care if he gets all sorts of money in the black manosphere. I don't care if he's, a he he's the face of the black manosphere. I don't care. I don't care if he's balling and he's becoming a future doctor. I don't care. And who else is out there? We have all these other guys who are talking trash like that. Like man, man. Man, man in his live streams who he finally got off the bullshit. He finally stopped kissing Daggle ass. And now he's fighting one of our own. We need to stop man, man. Man, man needs to be stopped with his around the way ass. Playing all sorts of Red Dead 
Redemption 2. Like the Madden King he is. But he's fighting on behalf of men. So we need to stop him. And who else is out there that... Oh man, that whitewashed sounding guy who posts his girl's ass all the time. And he's he's linking up with the white manosphere. Like that roll up, fruit roll up Tomasi guy. We can't have that happen. We can't have black and white men unifying. We're the white man's number two. Oh what? Asian women are? No, that can't be. Wait, what? And Indian woman number three. And Latina woman number four. And Middle Eastern woman number five. And, and and Indian, like the feather kind of number six. And Pacific Islanders number Where are we? We we are not that low. Hey, no, screw you. Screw the screw these screw these facts. These are some white supremacist facts. Uh, who else out there? Who else is out there? Oh, that voice of the everyday beta making all his live streams, talking about some nine hundred Patreons. We can't let him go. What? He's not fat. He released pictures of himself. He was at a party. Him and his girl. And and what? He, he can afford parties. Necktie parties. Wait, I thought he couldn't even afford to put the lights on. And he's moving somewhere else. Damn them all to hell. Scraggle daggles. Transform. That's what you daggles are doing. Instead of improving yourselves. Instead of even going after... The man you claim you can get. You gals are sitting around having these research think tanks going after people, going after Wigats, former Wigats, on what they said in 1992. You gals seriously need to learn from the few black women who can actually keep a man. Or just as good. Maybe you gals, while you're trying to dox and stalk and go after all sorts of tweets... Go learn a thing or two from these Wigats and these woe bickies on how to actually treat a man. Everyone else out there always bet on X.